this should help you remember everything. The numbers, Mason. What do they mean? Everything you know is wrong. Your life will be consumed by absolute loss. He doesn't need his own weapons. He's got ours. They'll always need men like us. Our greatest barrier is our own fear. Our own doubts. The only thing holding us back is how far we are willing to go. Yo, what is up everybody? It is Sergeant Kodiak here, and if you didn't see that or catch Charlie that at the beginning, that was a Black Ops 3 uh, teaser trailer, and if you don't know what a teaser trailer is, um, basically it's just like a little glimpse, it's not an official trailer, just kind of a small little glimpse of a game, you know, usually it doesn't reveal much at all, but uh, today uh, we're going to be talking Charlie about... Why the hype should be blind. real, and it is the only way we can save Call of Duty. Um, Call of Duty, if you guys didn't know, has been on a downhill slope since Ghost. Um, Black Ops 2 was like the best Call of Duty in my opinion, still I is, I play it all the time on my PlayStation. Really wish I could record it, but... Um, it's it was the best Call of Duty in my opinion, and Treyarch made it. Since Treyarch made it, Treyarch is making Black Ops 3, and Black Ops 3 has a huge name to live up to, but yet yeah, not a big one anymore, because the other two Call of Duty's just killed it, and it was because of the hype. I meant to say not hype, not hype. I'm sorry, but. It's the hype that killed it is because we gave so much hype to the game Security that they were so confident that their game was going to completely oversee every game in like the history of gaming that they gave us crappy games. Granted, Advanced Warfare isn't bad, but Ghost was horrible. Ghost was, I think, a pretty high pre-order game. It was one of the highest, if I remember calling, because it had the reputation of Black Ops 2 to live up to. And <coughs> sorry. Enemy care package and uh, yeah. So if we, we don't got if just don't pre-order the game and don't try to hype up the game too much. Yes, I'm very hyped for it. I'm excited Ready for it, but I'm not pre-ordering it. Um, or I might, uh, maybe I don't know. Hostile Probably not. But um, the r reason why we shouldn't pre-order it is because it gives them sales. Because they give us a crappy game, we've already gave them their money. Uh, we, yes, we can bring back the game stores, but they're gonna give you your normal like trade-in value probably. Uh, maybe they might give you a full refund and list receipt. Maybe I know my place down here will, because they're awesome. But anyway, another thing is, all you people that came here for Black Ops 3 leak, I have misled you. Now, before you click away, please listen. You guys. I'm not trying to offend anybody, but you guys are being really stupid by believing that they wouldn't allow leaked videos. Any video that gets that has truly leaked information will be taken down and probably have someone's channel terminated. Such as a while ago, I remember that guy who camps. If anybody remembers him anymore, he's not very active. He used to be really cool, but um, he. Uh, well, he Our got, uh, his air. video taken down because he guessed something correct and it was technically leaked. And, so yeah, all you guys that came here for the Black Ops 3 leaked, nothing is here. Um, we should stay for the rest of the video anyway because I have another couple good points about the game. Um, yeah. So, about the game now, my points. Uh, I heard that that people are kind of flipping out because there is a sort of exosuit and it's supposed to be like a, just a robotic suit or something like that but um 
it's like people just don't need to worry because Treyarch is gonna do it right hopefully hopefully they can learn from uh, uh, Sledgehammer's mistakes if it was my choice we would have no exosuits at all I take them out of advanced warfare only standard playlist but um yeah and people are freaking out about it but like a uh, video I was watching by 402 Thunder like he said Advanced Warfare came out two years in Black Ops 3's development so what's gonna happen is gonna happen and yeah so and then I also got some points that people are breaking down about the trailer there's only one new voice and one familiar voice with new dialogue oh the rest of it is used content from Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1, just the Black Ops series and um the one voice is at the beginning of the trailer and the one that you hear uh, nothing is real so I'm like I can't remember off the top of my head but and then the other one is that it's uh, I can't remember his name but he's like the head of the Navy SEALs from Black Ops 2 and he says it's like he doesn't need arms he needs something like heart he has heart or something but those are the only two new things. The rest of them are just used. So, yeah, don't get all excited because there's brand new information. Like when Wood said, we need more men like you and me. That was from Black Ops 2. Trust me. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you here for the Black Ops 3. Uh, oh, I just dropped the mic. But if you were here for the Black Ops 3. Uh, leak and you stayed to the end I thank you, maybe you can check out my channel because I obviously intrigued you somehow more Black Ops 3 info and uh, videos like theories will be coming out soon and I hope you guys have a wonderful day, bye